Hey guys, Steve Simpson here with Central Florida Property Management. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it is almost Thanksgiving. I got my, my holiday beard going on here. Hope you guys like that. Um, speaking of the holidays, I wanted to chat really quickly about the holidays and how, can it, how it can affect your rental property and what we recommend to do to kind of mitigate kind of those effects. So if you've ever bought a house before or sold a house before around the holidays, you know, October, November, December, more so November and December, you've probably experienced the market, the real estate market being slow. This is the same thing with rentals. Um, if you think about it, you know, between Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, people got a lot of stuff going on, and generally speaking, they're not really looking for places to rent, I guess places to buy or sell either. So the market just slows down. What does that mean? That means you're gonna expect a longer time on market because there's less people interested, lower prices, again, because demand is low, basically, both of which are bad things, right? We wanna rent for as much money as possible and as least amount of time as possible. The holidays kind of turn that on its head. So what do you do if you buy a property and it's this time of year, or if your tenant moves out early or, or what have you, and you need to lease the property out? Some people think we should just kind of wait, leave the property vacant until it's back in kind of a you know, a faster swing of things. Um, I would recommend basically doing an annual lease on the property. So let's just say the property is available December 1st, right? So you put someone there December 1st, do an annual lease, or obviously if you can find someone that would do a shorter term lease, you know, call it um, six, seven, eight, nine months. So it kind of puts you back in that sweet spot between May and September. That would be ideal. Trying to find someone that will agree to those terms is kind of tricky. So the next best thing is do an annual lease. And then when the lease is coming up for renewal, only offer them a renewal on a term that is better for you. Um, so, you know, they go through the year, they rent December 1 through November 30th of the next year. When that lease comes up, you say, hey, we'll do a six month lease. That puts you in, you know, May where their new, new extended leases are renewing, better time of year. Basically, you want to work to get your leases off the holiday cycle so you don't have to worry about the lack of interest and thus the extended days on market and the lower rents. Um, I guess that's kind of obvious, but some people seem to not really uh, think about it. So hopefully that, that helps you guys a little bit. If you guys have any questions or thoughts about that, please give us a call or leave us a message below this. And uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving.